Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to achieve related list navigation using Lightning Web Component. Let's say we have a requirement where we are developing a Lightning Web Component. From that Lightning Web Component, if I wanted to navigate an user to a, to a related list, then we are going to see that how to achieve it using lightning web component for example i am on account page if i click view related accounts then it should display the sorry if i click uh, view related contacts then it should display the contacts that are associated to this account so this is my lightning web component if i click view related contacts it is navigating me to the standard related list uh, when i whenever we click view all button so if you want to achieve this let's see how to achieve this using lightning web component in my lightning web component html i have lightning card and a lightning button in the lightning button uh, I'm going to get the label from uh, button label variant. I'm using it as brand and uh, on click of this button, it is going to call navigate to related list uh, JavaScript method. In the navigate uh, to related list method, I'm using I'm using navigation uh, mixin dot navigate. So I'm getting the navigation mixin from lightning navigation. So using lightning navigation, we can easily achieve this requirement. Type is very important here. In the type, I'm using standard underscore record relationship page. There are object page, home page, standard page. We have several uh, attributes to be used here, but here I'm using type. And in the type, I'm using standard underscore record relationship page. Whenever we use standard underscore record relationship page, we have several attributes. First is record ID, the ID of the record that has to be passed. So this is the parent ID. Next object API name. And we have relationship name. So in the object API name, so if you have a custom object <coughs> and if the object name is employee underscore underscore C, then you have to use employee underscore underscore C in the API name and relationship name is whenever we create um, a child object and if we try to link it we may we might use master detail or lookup relationship in that case you will have the relationship uh, field name on the field so for example um, on contact uh, you will be able to find the relationship for account So let's go to the object manager. Let's go to contact. So if you go to contact, you can go to fields and relationship. So this is the name and here you should be able to find the relationship name. So the relationship name here is contacts. Okay. And I'm going to make use of the same lightning web component in multiple places. So I'm going to reuse this again and again. So I am declaring the target configs in the target configs. I'm using the targets as lightning underscore underscore record page. And uh, I'm getting the object name, the relationship name and the button label. However, we wanted to display. So let's see how to configure this in a lightning record page. So if I edit this page, I should be able to see the configuration. So this is my lightning web component, which we were discussing. Here I'm using the object name as account, relationship name as contacts. So this is the relationship name, I got it. If you are using uh, custom object then it will have double underscore r 
since it is standard I'm using just the relationship name and button label I wanted to display it as a view related contacts so whenever uh, uh, cust um, you use this go to this account page they will see view related contacts and then they can click it it will go to this method and uh, the record ID is since I'm using uh, uh, API uh, and uh, since I'm using the record ID so it will pass the account ID here object name uh, contact sorry the parent object name sorry account and here I'm using uh, the child relationship name okay so now we have already configured it so if you click view related contacts it will navigate us to the related contacts of this account please check the video description in the video description I have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the sample code which we referenced in this video I hope it was helpful thank you for watching